Hello mathematicians. We're going to look at some data today. So you notice that we have a chart here and we're going to look at the data on the chart. So this is all about favorite ice cream flavor. So let's look at our choices. The first one is vanilla and the second one it starts like what do you think that is? That's right, chocolate. That's definitely a favorite. And the next one starts like str. That's right, that's strawberry. So we have vanilla, chocolate, and strawberry. You're probably already thinking about which one would be your favorite. So how did they represent this data? That's right, they have these little, kind of almost like sticky notes like we've been doing. And each person voted for their favorite ice cream flavor. So what are you noticing? I'm noticing too that strawberry didn't have as many votes, did it? Which one had the most? Yes, chocolate. So now, today, we're going to write two questions that could be answered using this data. So we're always looking at the data thinking as a mathematician and mathematicians are always wondering and thinking. So, we're going to come up with some questions. So, let's see. How about if we say, how many chocolate? How many People voted for chocolate ice cream. Hmm. Can we answer that? Yes, we can because we can count them. Let's count them together. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven. There are seven people voted for chocolate ice cream. So there were seven people who said that chocolate was their favorite ice cream. So seven people voted. Okay, so can we come up with another question? Let's think together. What would be another question? Maybe we can compare two of them. I'm wondering how many more people voted for chocolate than vanilla. How many more people like chocolate ice cream than vanilla ice cream? Do you think you can help me answer that? Well, how many people voted for chocolate? Well, we already knew that was seven, right? So I'm going to get my pen out. So seven people voted for ice cream. Oop. 
Oops. Let me erase that. So seven voted for chocolate. And I'm going to write that up there. And how many voted for vanilla? Let's count. One, two, three, four. So four people voted for vanilla. So if they voted the same, how many would they have? Four here. But chocolate had three more. So if I have seven and I take the four away, I would have three. So three more people voted for chocolate than vanilla ice cream. Great job today, boys and girls, helping me to write questions based on data.